Hi, welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Psychotech. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to use the index formula step by step. First I will show you how to get the row and column number by using the match function. Secondly, I will show you the index function. Thirdly, I will show you how to combine these functions into one formula. So to get the row and column number we are going to use the match function. In this example we will use cell E11 to calculate the row number and E12 to calculate the column number. Go to cell E11 and press insert function. Search the match function using the search box or by selecting the function from the list box. The lookup value is right next to the from field, the input cell. In this example C11, which is Amsterdam, the lookup array is the selection of all the rows which can be found in the table or matrix. The match type is zero as we would like to have an exact match. We'll do the same for column. Select E12. And again press insert function. Search the match function by using the search box or by selecting the function from the list box. The lookup value is right next to the to field, the input cell. In this example C12, which is London, the lookup array is the selection of all the columns which can be found in the table or matrix. The match type is zero as we would like to have an exact match. Now we have the row and column numbers. We can use these for the index function. I am going to insert this function in C13, so select this cell and click insert function. Search the index function by using the search box or by selecting the function from the list box. As this function has multiple argument lists, you will see a pop-up asking you to select one of them. Select the first one and click OK. Now you need to enter the array. You can do this by selecting the data in the table or matrix, in our example C3 to F6. The row number has already been calculated, so you can enter or select E11 here. We'll do the same with the column number. So now we have our result. But to be more efficient, you can also combine these functions. When you look at the formula in cell C13, you can simply replace C11 by the formula entered in E11. Go to cell E11 and select the formula without the equals sign. Then hit Ctrl C or right click and select copy. Press escape to exit the function bar. Go to C13 and select E11 inch the function bar and then Ctrl V or right click and select paste. Do the same with E12. The formula should look like this. Now you can change the values in C11 and C12 to get other results. Try it. After you have combined the functions, you can delete the cells you do not need anymore. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please rate this video or thumbs up. If you have any more questions or remarks, then please feel free to place a comment.